After you've had a chance to go ahead and finish your packet with your partner, I want you to use your Chromebook to explore how you can play around with font and alignment. To do this, go to Google Classroom and go to your fifth grade class. Once there, you and your partner can open up a doc I've created for you to go ahead and work in. To get there, you can click on the link in the stream, or if you'd rather, you can go up to Classwork at the top of the page and go to the Motivational Quote Project posts. If you are interested in that, you can go ahead and click here, and there is a doc that will be posted for you to go ahead and explore inside of. Directions are on the page. It says that you should use this document to try different fonts. Please notice that it says you should use no more than three fonts in your quote. Feel free to have more than one option to explore. Maybe you want to try two quotes or two fonts on one page and two fonts on a different page with your same quote. That's okay. Feel free to explore size, bolding words, and underlining words. But one of the most important things is, is that alignment piece. That's located up at the top right here. You can hover over, you see a line. If you do that, it will change how your text is showing up on the page. Most of the time you use a center alignment when you are working in design. You use a left alignment when you're writing a paper. So for example, if I wanted to use the kid president quote, be somebody who makes everybody feel like a somebody. And I'm going to put kid president as the person who said that. Now I can go ahead and I can highlight my text. I can go ahead and switch it to a center alignment. And I can go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so it fills up my page a little bit more. But right now my text is pretty boring. Maybe I want to go ahead and hit enter, so now B somebody's on the top, but then this line seems really long and I don't like that kid president's name is cut in half, so maybe I want to go ahead and hit enter again and hit enter a third time. So now all of my text is kind of stacked up. After I do that, I can go ahead and maybe use underline. Maybe I want to change this one font to something that's a little bit bolder, but now it looks a little bit too big, so maybe I need to change the size of it. But think about how you can play around with that. Maybe you even want to explore using different colors from your color scheme as you are working with this. Think about what's going to grab your attention. Personally, I don't like this font combination. I don't think my two fonts really go well with one another. So try to make sure as you are looking for your fonts and playing around with them, find things that you think are going to look good. If you're not sure, you could ask people's opinions, but you're going with an overall theme. If you have something that looks opposite, it doesn't kind of have that same sense of unity, and you really want to make sure that you have that sense of unity, uh, try to avoid getting super duper fancy because obviously you're going to have to write this out and that's going to be very challenging for you. So have fun exploring. When you are done with this, I want you to pick the font that you like the best and I want you to try to write this font on a piece of paper. Be thinking about how you might do this. Look at the lines you see in that font. Notice it's very tall and narrow. Try to mimic that versus this font right here is very curvy and it's all uppercase. So feel free to explore and try it out. This is the time to practice, fail, and get good because next step is working on your final poster and you want to be an expert by that time. Have fun.